If you've enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for notifications on new videos. Let's, Let's go. go! Hello Play-Doh and hello space fans. Today we're going to make Play-Doh planets and Play-Doh dwarf planets and learn about our solar system and facts about each planet. Next we have a map of our solar system and the planets. To be a planet, the planets must orbit a star, so our star is called the Sun. It must have enough gravity to make the planet round. And lastly, the planet must clear away objects in its orbit. So here is our star called the Sun. The first four planets that orbit the Sun are terrestrial planets, meaning they have ground. Then the last four planets are the opposite and they're called Jovian planets. So the first planet in our solar system is Mercury, the second is Venus and the hottest. The third planet is Earth, the one we're on, and the fourth and last terrestrial planet is Mars, which is the second smallest terrestrial planet. Next is the fifth planet in the solar system and the first of the Jovian planets. The planet is called Jupiter and it is a big gas giant. The sixth planet is also a big gas giant and it's called Saturn and has a big ring around it. The seventh planet is called Uranus and it's the coldest planet in the solar system. Then the last planet in our solar system, the eighth, is Neptune, which is the windiest planet of them all. So in order to make our planets and the dwarf planets later on, we will need lots of colours of Play-Doh. We will need black and white, different tones of brown and yellow, orange and red, different shades of blue, different shades of green. So we will need lots and lots of Play-Doh to make our eight planets and the five known dwarf planets in our solar system. So we're going to make the sun, which is our star, out of yellow Play-Doh. The average temperature on the sun reaches around 5,600 Celsius on the surface and about 15 million Celsius in the centre. The sun has its own orbit as well. The sun actually orbits the centre of the Milky Way galaxy. The sun also spins on its axis, it takes 27 days to do one rotation. And that is our sun. Next up, we're going to make the first planet in our solar system, Mercury. We're going to use black and white Play-Doh and mix them together to make gray. Mercury has highs of 430 Celsius and the temperature can go as low as minus 180 Celsius. It takes Mercury 88 Earth days to orbit around the Sun. It is the fastest planet to orbit around our Sun. However, the days on Mercury are very long. It takes 1,408 hours, or approximately 59 days, to rotate on its axis once. Mercury has no moons. It is thought it is too close to the Sun for any potential moons, and the Sun's gravity will pull them in. And here we have Mercury, the smallest planet in our solar system, which is also covered in lots of craters. The second planet in our solar system is Venus and we're going to use light orange Play-Doh and yellow Play-Doh and also regular orange Play-Doh. The temperature of Venus is an average of 464 Celsius which is the hottest planet in our solar system. Next it takes Venus 225 days to orbit the Sun. 
However, Venus is the longest planet to rotate on its axis. It takes 5,832 hours or 243 days to rotate just once. Venus also has no moons. It is thought that Venus had moons many, many, many years ago, but the moon crashed in to its surface. Keep rolling Venus up and mixing all the colours together. And there we have Venus. It is the hottest planet in the solar system. And Venus also rotates backwards. It is the closest to the Earth in distance and in size, which is why sometimes it's called Earth's twin planet. And there is our Venus. Next we're going to make Earth, which is our planet and the third from the solar system. We're going to use blue and green Play-Doh, dark green and white Play-Doh. So Earth's temperature can reach up to highs of 58 Celsius and also lows of minus 89. It takes 365 days to orbit our sun, which is what we call one year. The Earth takes 24 hours to rotate on its axis once, which is what we call one day. 12 hours of daytime approximately and 12 of night. Earth has one moon. It is the only moon that humans have ever been on, and it is also sometimes referred to as Luna. There is our Earth, with blue and green splodges for the land. Now we'll need to put the ice caps on the north and south of the planet. Earth is an interesting planet, as it is a terrestrial planet, which is made of 71% water. Earth is also the only known planet to us to have any life. There we go, we have finished our Earth. We'll give it a little rub together to make it smoother. And you can keep going, we have a little crack in ours, but you can keep rubbing until it's smooth. And here is Earth, the planet we all live on. The next planet and fourth in our solar system is Mars. So we're going to use red and brown Play-Doh mixed together. Mars's temperature is usually as high as 20 Celsius to minus 153 Celsius. It takes Mars 687 days to orbit around our Sun, so just off of two years. Next it takes Mars 25 hours to make one rotation, so just one more hour than Earth. However, Mars has two moons. It is thought in the future one of its moons may crash into Mars and give it its own rings. And here is Mars, which has the third of Earth's gravity and the highest volcano and mountain on its surface called Olympus Mons. Next is the biggest planet in our solar system, Jupiter. So I'm going to use brown and light orange Play-Doh and cream and light beige play-doh. We're going to mix them all up together. So first, Jupiter has the average temperature of approximately minus 145. 
it's very cold. Next, it takes Jupiter 12 years to rotate the Sun one time. Next, it takes Jupiter only 10 hours to rotate on its axis once, so its days are very short. And lastly, Jupiter is known to have 95 official moons since 2023. Now all the Play-Dohs mixed together, I'm making some brown stripes to put across Jupiter. I'll also be adding some beige and orange stripes to Jupiter. Jupiter is the biggest planet in our solar system and it has no solid surface. It is known as one big gas giant. Just adding the last of the rings on here and then I will give it a good rub together at the end to smooth it all out. And then we will knead it in our hands and next create the famous red dot on Jupiter with our red play-doh. The red dot on Jupiter is a massive raging storm thought to be two to three times the size of Earth. And there is Jupiter. The next planet in our solar system is Saturn, so we're going to use light, beige and yellow and mix them together. The average temperature of Saturn is minus 178 Celsius. It takes approximately 29 years for Saturn to orbit our Sun. However, it only takes 11 hours for Saturn to rotate on its axis one time. Saturn is the planet to have the most known moons in our solar system. From 2023, it's thought to have 146 known moons. Saturn, like Jupiter, is another gas giant in our solar system. However, Saturn is famous for its large ring. The ring is thought to be made up of smashed up moons and asteroids and space debris from our solar system over millions and millions of years. So we're using brown play-doh to make Saturn. And we're just pinching the end of his rings to give it a more spherical shape. There we have Saturn. Next in our solar system is Uranus. So we're going to use light blue Play-Doh and white Play-Doh and mix them together. Uranus is known to be minus 224 Celsius, the coldest planet in our solar system. It takes 84 years for Uranus to travel around the Sun. It is so far away. It takes 17 hours for Uranus to rotate on its axis, so its days are quite short. Uranus has 27 official moons. So I'm just putting the thin ice ring on Uranus, white Play-Doh. And here is Uranus. Uranus spins backwards and on its side. It is the coldest planet in our solar system. The last planet in our solar system is Neptune. So we're going to use dark and light blue Play-Doh and also white and mix them all up temperature of minus 200 Celsius. It also takes Neptune 165 Earth years to orbit our Sun. However, Neptune is also 
quick with its axis, it takes 16 hours to rotate on its axis once. Neptune is known to have 14 official moons. To rub Neptune all together to make him smooth. And Neptune is to be known as the windiest planet of them all. And here is Neptune. So here is our Sun. All the planets in the solar system orbit around the Sun. So we're just going to put the Sun over here and the Sun is approximately 864,000 miles wide, which is 109 times wider than our Earth. Next is Mercury, which is 36 million miles away from the Sun. The second planet in the solar system that comes next after Mercury is Venus. Venus is the second planet from the Sun and is approximately 67 million miles away from the Sun. The next planet in our solar system is Earth, the planet we all live on. Earth is approximately 93 million miles away from the Sun. The next planet in our solar system is Mars. Mars is straight after Earth and is approximately 142 million miles away from the Sun. The next planet in our solar system is Jupiter. The biggest planet in our solar system sits right after Mars. Jupiter is approximately 484 million miles away from the Sun. The next planet in our solar system is Saturn, the planet with the big ring. Saturn is approximately 886 million miles away from the Sun. The seventh planet in our solar system is Uranus. It's getting cold now in the solar system. And Uranus is approximately 1.8 billion miles away from the Sun. Next is Neptune. Neptune is after Uranus. And Neptune is even further away at approximately 2.8 billion miles from the Sun. So the further away in the solar system, the more the planets are spread out. So we have the Sun, Mercury, which is the first planet, Venus, the second, Earth, third, fourth, Mars, fifth, Jupiter, sixth, Saturn, seventh, Uranus, and the eighth planet, Neptune. So next, let's go ahead and make all the dwarf planets to put in this solar system. The first dwarf planet is Ceres. We're going to make a grey with white and black play-doh. And Ceres has an average temperature of minus 73 to minus 143 Celsius. It takes 4.5 years to orbit around the Sun. It rotates on its axis in approximately nine hours. So nine hours is one day on this planet. It has zero moons, this planet. And Ceres is the biggest object in the asteroid belt and the only dwarf planet in the inner solar system. 
Ceres is also famous for its mysterious bright spots on the planet. And here is Ceres, the dwarf planet. The next dwarf planet we have is the most famous and Pluto. So I'm going to use beige and red and also some brown. Pluto has an average temperature of minus 232 Celsius. It takes 248 years to make one orbit around the Sun. However, one day on Pluto takes approximately six days to spin once on its axis. Now Pluto has some moons. Pluto has approximately five moons. Pluto is also noted spin on its side and spin backwards like Venus. If you were to stand on Pluto's surface, you would see blue skies and red snow. And here is our Pluto. Next we have Haumea. Haumea is another dwarf planet and has an approximate temperature of minus 241 Celsius. It takes 284 years to take one rotation around the sun. It also takes four hours to spin on its axis one time, so its days are fast at four hours. Haumea also has two moons. Some more interesting facts about Haumea is that Haumea is egg shape. Haumea is not fully round as it spins so fast it gives it a warp shape and has one ring around it. Next we have Make Make. Make Make has an average temperature of minus 243 Celsius and it takes 305 years just to orbit the sun once. A day on Make Make is approximately 22.5 hours. Make Make also has one moon. So the last official dwarf planet in our solar system is Eris. It varies in temperature from minus 217 to minus 405 Celsius. It takes Eris 557 Earth years to orbit the Sun and takes 26 hours, so one more hour than our planet, to make it one rotation on its axis. Eris also has one known moon. An interesting fact about Eris is it doesn't make a circle type rotation around the Sun. It has a very warped egg shape orbit time around the Sun. So here was our solar system before. So we're going to put in the first dwarf planet, which is located in the asteroid belt after Mars. Ceres lays in the asteroid belt in between Mars and Jupiter. It is 257 million miles away from the Sun. The rest of the dwarf planets are located in the Kuiper belt after Neptune. The second dwarf planet is Pluto, which is located 3.7 billion miles away from the Earth. Next is Haumea, which is 4 billion miles away. The next planet, or dwarf planet, in the Kuiper belt is Make Make, which is 4.2 billion miles away. Lastly, the last known dwarf planet is Eris, which is located last in the Kuiper belt, which is 6.3 billion miles away from the Sun. And there we have all of our Plato planets and five dwarf planets. We hope you've had fun learning about space and the solar system with us today and creating with Play Doh. We'll see you again next time. Bye bye. Hello, if you enjoyed today's video, please like, subscribe, and click the bell icon for notifications on new videos. Bye bye.